All right, guys, how's it going? Thought we'd just do a, a very, very quick video about Jude Bellingham, all right? Because every day people ask the same question. What do you think, Doug? Do you think we might get him? Well, and think opinions can change, all right? Opinions can change. So what I said yesterday might be different today. So very briefly, the Jude Bellingham situation, I have zero hope that he will sign for Liverpool Football Club, but... I have left the door open, right? So what I mean by that is I'm not sat every day or any day going, oh, I hope he signs for us. I, hope, I mean, of course I want him to sign for us. But what I mean is I'm not like deluding myself, all right? But at the same time, in the back of my mind, until he signs for someone else, I'm always going to leave that door open mentally, you know, because stranger things have happened in football. And I just have... See, the thing is, if I tell you what I really think, all right, People in the future watch the video and go, that aged well, didn't it, chubs? You know what I mean? So sometimes I just keep my mouth shut. Or I just make videos for the channel members. Me, personally, on here, with the videos, I'd rather make every video for the channel members. Because I know that then you get a quiet life and you don't get any aggravation. But then it wouldn't be unfair. I'd be closing a lot of people out that are my friends uh, that are not in a position to support the channel. But if I had my way... I would absolutely 1 million percent just do videos for channel members because then I can tell you exactly what I think. Uh, so, Bellingham, would you would you be surprised? Well, I guess you would actually, but I wouldn't be shocked if it came up that Liverpool were negotiating a deal from I just wouldn't, guys. I really wouldn't. Uh, and I don't want to get your hopes up or at all, right? I don't, you know, I don't, like I say, I don't sit around thinking, oh, it might happen, it might happen, it might happen. But I'm sat here and people ask me the question and I'll go, well, you can't sign for anyone else yet. Uh, and Liverpool, Liverpool operates in a very strange way. You know, some of the players we've been linked with, I think, what, 50, 60 million? Pay fucking another 30 million and get him in. They think of the money that it would make you. Give him up. I mean, I bet there's players out there, all right, that are being linked with us that Liverpool, even that Liverpool could sign this summer, right? And... If, if it meant one less signing of those, like a, not a, I don't want to say a low key player, but like we want our McAllisters and, and people like that, right? We want them signing, them kind of players. I don't mean pass on them, but I guarantee you there's some fodder in there, right? That I'd be like, well, I'd have actually passed on him. He's a good player and we might have been linked with him for months. But if that means that we could have got, you know, Bellingham and, and the guys, people associated to the Bellingham camp. You know, they've always said that the lad was up for moving to Liverpool, right? And it, it takes me back to Timo Werner. You know, he wanted Liverpool and he ended up at Chelsea. He didn't want to go there, right? And Klopp, allegedly, obviously, uh, you know, the claim is that he uh, had to speak to him personally and say, look, you know, he spoke to him personally and said, I really want him to sign. You haven't done anything wrong. I haven't called on you. I, it's not me. They won't enable me, you know, to purchase you. They will not enable it to happen. They will back the move financially. Uh, and as some of you know, that's happened three times now uh, with, you know, with players that Klopp wanted. Well, this if Bellingham is the third. So in summary, very, very quickly, I'm sorry if the video is all over the place, because I, I really do want to say more, but sometimes it's not worth the hassle. And also, I don't want you to go, oh, there's a chance. I mean, there's, of course there's a chance, though. There is a chance. If you think it's dead and it's impossible, then that's fine. I don't believe that. I just don't believe that. But I don't want you to think that that means I'm now thinking we're going to sign him because I kind of don't think that either. Does that make sense? Is it too much of a contradiction? So I'm trying to say I'm not holding up. I'm not like thinking, oh, yeah, we might get in. I'm, not, I'm like, to me, I'm not even thinking about Bellingham. I've got to be honest with you. Only when you guys mention it. But if you want me to, complete, to be completely honest with you... Uh, until he completes for Real Madrid, for example, then I think anything can happen in football. I really do. I don't want you to get your hopes up, though. And I, I swear down, I am not even like contemplating the idea of signing him. But to me, I don't know if I'm if I'm too simple, right? And by that, I mean, am I too thick and naive here? Because I look at what Bellingham would bring to Liverpool Football Club, the you know the the potential success that he could contribute to, which in Return means revenue, right? Other players look and go, I want to go and play with Bellingham at Liverpool. Kids, adults, fans, they want to buy the shirts with his names on the merchandise. I just find it incredibly difficult to believe that Liverpool can go for a 50 to 60 million pound player, say, but don't see the sense in financing that.
Now, I know it's not just about the transfer fee. It's about contracts and wages and all sorts of things. Liverpool Football Club is an elite club. And like Simon Jordan said recently, Liverpool Football Club can afford Jude Bellingham, but they're choosing not to afford Jude Bellingham. And he said, I don't understand why. Now, some of you might not give a shit what, Jude, uh, what uh, Simon Jordan thinks, uh, but I thought it was a really good point. You know, you don't have to like someone to agree with what they say or to consider what they say. Uh, it's very depressing. I think it's, I, I think the owners, I mean, no, I, I suppose with the owners, I should get onto another video about what I was going to say there. Um, but just in summary, one more time, I am not suggesting we're going to sign Jude Bellingham or uh, even attempting to sign Jude Bellingham, but I would not be shocked as many of you would be if it happened. That's what I'm trying to say. And I hope uh, you kind of get the, the message that I'm saying to you. Um, but everything suggests he's going elsewhere, not Liverpool. All right, guys, speak to you in a bit.